Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 33 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Ms. Sykes, she pays a total of $95.40 for a year long or a 12 month subscription. And she paid the same amount each month. So there we go, same amount. That lets us know that we are dealing with equal groups. Whenever we see any type of words that give us a clue for equal groups, we know it's gonna either be multiplication or division. So what does she pay each month? Well. Let's see if we can figure out what a good operation for this would be. Equal groups, multiplication, or division. If I were to draw a strip diagram here, let's see if I can put some items in here. So total of, so here we go. See this word right here, total. This lets me know that I do have my total up here, 95, 40. So that's going to be my total. Then I've got 12 months which is for a year. So we need to turn this into 12 little chunks right here. And so let me see if I can do, let's see, that's gonna be half. Let's see if I can turn my half into sixths. And if I turn each sixth into half, that's gonna get me back to my 12th. So there, 12 sections of 95.40. So it looks like I am going to need to divide this right here. And so let's take our 95.40. And let's divide that by 12. When we are dividing with decimals, we first need to check, are there any decimals in the divisor? In this case, no, there are not. It's just 12 as a whole number. If so, we'd have to do something different. We'd have to shift the decimal to the left to the right and match that in the dividend because we can't divide with decimals in the divisor, but it's a whole number. So our only other step is to take this decimal in the dividend and move it straight up here, same location on our quotient bar, and then that's it. That's how we divide by decimals. We get rid of it, pretend like it's not there, and we just think it's 12 into 9,540. And we know how to do that. It's, it's big. But we know how to do it. We know our 12s. Oh, 8 times 12 is so close that would be 96, but we know that's not going to work. So 7 times 12 is going to get us really close. That's going to get us 84. And that's going to get us 11. See, it was just one away from being perfect. We're going to bring down one digit here. That's going to be 4. So, ooh, 12 into 114. Well, I know it can't be 10. I'm going to guess 9. 9 times 12 is 108. And that's going to get us a remainder of 6. 60. So 12 goes into 65 times. And if you don't know your 12s, uh, then you can just you know list them out on the side. 12 times 1, 12 times 2. But some of us know our 12s. So it looks like I've got 795. Let's put that dollar sign back up there. Looks like I do have an option there is A. Let me just double check this. Make sure I multiply it correctly because look at there's a 796. Like if I messed up, there's one really close. So let me multiply by 12. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ignore that decimal right now. I'm gonna pretend it's 795 times 12. So five times two is 10. That's 18, that's 19. And 7 times 2 is 14. Add that one back in, it's 15. Let's get rid of those. And then, oh, 795. I love multiplying by 1, it's super easy. Let's see if that gets us back to what we need to. That's going to be 4. That's going to be 15. We had two digits behind the decimal coming in. And we need two digits behind the decimal going out. That's how we multiply by decimals. 9540, which gets us right back to what we want to. So we were correct. Our answer is going to be A, $7.95.